Hello again, it's Mark Webb here from Webbs of Weybridge Classic Car Hire. Um, today I'm going to be showing you around our DeLorean for self-drive hire. It's the only one available in the UK. Um, I'm going to show you how to operate her, uh, show you the controls, getting in and out, general do's and don'ts, and general um, sort of driving techniques to adopt when, when driving such a wide car. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy. So we, here we have our DeLorean DMC-12. She's a 1982, uh, one of the first uh, years of production. Um, over from the States, so she's a left-hand drive manual. It's a 2.6 V6. Um, not super quick, but a really great touring car. And just legendary, really. Uh, turns heads wherever you go. So these videos are designed for us to show you around the car um, so you can virtually check yourself out with the car. Um, we can show you the controls on here. Uh, again, do's and don'ts, driving style, how to start and stop her. Uh, ideal for if you're getting married and you're using this as a wedding car and you need to reference something, um, you can just come back to this video as often as you like. So um, a nice handy tool. So uh, with some classic cars you have two keys, but with the DeLorean you just have the one. So you'll be... Uh, easier to to use that um, because it works for locking and unlocking which is central locking in this car and then to get in obviously lift the handle and then you can see a very retro interior if we clamber in the ignition is on the right hand side just here so to start the car a simple turn of the key uh, and just feed the fuel by slowly depressing the accelerator down to get us started was that just to run over the controls here obviously we've got the volts which should read above 13 temperature which normally sits on this white line here if it creeps up to 220 or above just pull over um, if you're stuck in traffic or something but generally this car looks after itself it's got cooling fans it's just something to look out for in classic cars um, obviously you can see the uh, fuel gauge uh, oil pressure speedo and rev counter over here at the stereo, with the heating and air con. To turn the lights on, one press for side, two presses for full, and then press it again, and it cycles through, back to the lights being off. If you want to have the cold air blowing, just put it to the white star there, make sure this is turned over to cold. And then obviously you've got the vents, the fans here, which work nicely. And then for windows, the second set of controls are down here. You've got a little button here which will open and close a very small window. Um, the last thing to mention is getting into the car, give the door a bit of a slam, and then you to get out, which some people worry about. Uh, this large handle here, this is the locking to lock and unlock the car. Above here, we've got the wind wing mirrors. This one here, so pull it up. You can exit. Uh, gears, we've got five gears and it's obviously a manual. Um, left and straight up for first, working through the gears as you would per usual. For reverse, you lift this, and it lifts very slightly, so lift it up across and back. It is marked on top of here. When you go back in, just give a little tap to make sure it's back down and secure. Uh, one thing is people, when they get out of the car, they tend to use the steering wheel, which as you can see lowers. There's a little tap to adjust. You just Raise the steering wheel, put it to where you want it, tighten the t tighten the, the tap, I call it, back up, and then you're back to a decent uh, position. The stalks on the DeLorean obviously have the indicators, and you'll find the horn on the end there rather than in the centre. On this side we have the windscreen wipers, so you just push it up one click for them both to operate continuously. Not great without water. Um, if you want them to be intermittent, you just press it down and hold it, and then let go. That will then operate intermittently, and if you want them to stop operating intermittently, you hold them down for one rotation and let go again. Handbrake's in a slightly obscure place in the DeLorean. It's, uh, it's down here, uh, but it's pretty easy to operate, obviously. Um, and also, while we're here, we're going to show you where to refuel. So there's no fuel cap or gauge as such around the car. Um, you simply lift the bonnet up, it is underneath here. 
So you lift this up, you can see my polishing cloth, um, and here's the fuel cap, and it's simply a twist and open. And fill that back up uh, till it clicks, obviously, and then you just shut it back down. Pretty straightforward. There is a bit of room for luggage in the DeLorean. You can move the seat, and there's quite a big space here for luggage. Nothing in the back. There's a lever if you do need to see the engine, just in the corner here. Um, you open the hooves, pull that lever, and then you can get in to the engine if need be. Okay, so we've run through most of the basics of the car, locking, unlocking, gear changes, uh, the dials, refueling. Um, just when you're driving her, make sure that you're uh, taking it easy to start with. She's uh, a little wider than your average car. And also being a left-hand drive, you'll find that you'll have to hug the kerb to stay in a nice position on the road. It'll feel a little unusual at first, so just take your time, ease yourself into her. She hasn't got ABS or power steering and the, the mod cons that you have today. So just give yourself sensible distances between you and the car in front. And um, yeah, if you have any questions about the car at all, just give us a call. We're on the, on the phone 24 seven um, and enjoy her. Most importantly, she's a, she's a great fun car to drive.